Do you ever wish you had a do-over in your trading? Like if you could go back to when you started, what would you tell yourself in those early days? Well, I've been trading since 2016 and there are things that I know now, that I do now, that make my trading so, so effortless in a way that I could not have ever imagined back when I started trading. And I don't think I can emphasize the value of fundamental analysis too much because fundamental analysis is everything in trading. Fundamental analysis is essential to technical analysis. And I'm, and, I, and I'm really going to say this once again. The quality of your trades or the quality of the trades you take will drastically improve if the quality of your fundamentals improve, period. There's no question about that. If the quality of your trades will only improve if the quality of your fundamentals also improve. So that means that you need to get better at fundamental analysis because in reality, it can and it will make a way for you in the financial markets or it can block the way the way for you. That's if you tr that's if you decide that you're essentially going to ignore fundamental analysis. So at the end of the day, you have to pick, you have to choose, you have to decide which one is it going to be? Are you going to stick? to your current ways that you are that you are currently doing things in struggling seeing trading and, and 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 participating in the financial market as a struggle or are you going to leave the land of the familiar and switch over to fundamental analysis so that like i have you can also get to experience trading that is essentially effortless so what I want to talk to you about in this video is fundamental analysis and the significant impact that fundamental analysis has had in my trading. The only reason I am profitable today, it is because of fundamental analysis. It is because I understood fundamental analysis. And I say that with confidence because I've, I was trading with technical analysis all these years, since 2016 up until 2021. June 2021 to be exact because I only started learning fundamentals in July 2021 and that is when things clicked for me that is when I had that aha moment in my trading where everything started to make sense where my trading started to become effortless that is when I realized how fundamental analysis is essential to technical analysis no it does not mean that Technical analysis is useless or is not necessary, but fundamental analysis is essential to technical analysis. Not, th not that technical analysis is essential to fundamental. No. Fundamental analysis is essentially the genesis of the financial markets. If you want to get good at this, if you want to understand how markets work, if you want to win more than you lose in the financial markets, then you need to decide that you are going to stick with fundamental analysis. So right in front of you, we have AUD CAD, and this is the AUD CAD trade that I shared in the second week of September. And as you can see, we've essentially reached 2024 highs. Let me just go to the weekly time frame so that you can clearly see what I'm talking about. So as you can clearly see on the weekly time frame, we've essentially reached new 2024 highs. And my ultimate target is 0 0.940. Obviously, there's downside risk to that. Anything can happen in the financial markets. But I took everyone from the beginning of this trade. I shared the reasons why I've been in this trade. And as you can clearly see how it is, how it is looking right now. And this is not the only one. And this is not to say that I win every single trade. But like I said, the primary reason why... I am profitable in trading it is because of fundamentals 
it is because of fundamental analysis. You know, I have this thing and this thing is called fundamental analysis. And if you can also learn fundamental analysis, I am sure it will work for you because it is essentially a system that is based on principles. There are certain fundamental analysis principles that we follow that work. And all we have to do is just put it on rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat every single time. The same, the same thing goes for this particular trade that I have in silver. It is the very same thing. It is based or it is predicated based on the understanding of fundamentals. And that is why I say fundamental analysis is essential to technical analysis. Without the understanding of fundamental analysis, I would not have executed this trade. But most importantly, I would have not held with so much conviction that I do anticipate that price will potentially go higher. There was no guarantee that price would go higher, but there was a higher level level of probability that prices would go higher based on what was happening from a fundamental analysis perspective, from the Fed cutting interest rates, geopolitical uh, tensions that are ongoing. There was a higher probability that silver will continue pushing higher. That is the significance of understanding fundamental analysis. And most recently, some of the trades that, 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 that I have running, it is the Japanese yen trade. So as you can clearly see, Euro JPY, I'm short on Euro JPY. We are, we are also short on CHF JPY as well. We are also short on CHF JPY. We are also short on uh, CAD JPY. You, under, you should understand with CAD that I'm, I'm obviously bearish on CAD. That is why I bought AUD CAD because I'm bearish on the Canadian dollar. Uh, we also have a short position on uh, USD JPY as well. Right, so we also have a, an, another sell position on USD JPY as well, as you can see. All of these trades I took because of understanding fundamentals. I had anticipated strengthening of the Japanese yen, but the catalyst that actually brought on Japanese yen strength is not what I had anticipated. I was more looking towards the geopolitical tensions that we currently seeing escalating. What am I talking about when I say geopolitical tensions? Well, this is what we currently have. As you can see uh, on, on, on this sort of screen, because I've split my screen into two here, but you can clearly see this headline. Hezbollah confirms Nasrallah is killed after Israeli, Israeli strike. His death marks a devastating blow to Hezbollah as it reels from Israeli attacks. It is also a huge blow to Iran. So now if I'm anticipating based on my and on, on my level of understanding of fundamentals, if I'm anticipating that the markets are not going to perform well, that the markets are not going to do well because of the whole geopolitical tensions that we, we that we currently seeing escalating in the Middle East, then I would position myself in a way that would minimize my downside risk. And what is that? It is obviously looking at trading or investing into safe haven assets. And that is one of the reasons why I've been stalking the Japanese yen to actually buy the Japanese yen. Because I've been following the buildup or the escalation that we've been seeing in, in particular between Hezbollah and Israel. And that actually allowed me to put myself in a position to anticipate certain moves. Not to say the move was going to happen, but to anticipate it. One of the reasons uh, I say that is because you can clearly see in the Telegram group, you can also join the Telegram group. Just click on the link, the second link down in the description. I asked, on the this was on the 26th of September, I asked this question. If the Middle East tensions were to evolve, evolve into a, a regional war in the Middle East, obviously, what asset classes would you buy or sell to preserve your capital? And the reason why I was asking this is because I was seeing what was actually brewing underneath. And not to say that the market is essentially going to, because the market has priced in most of the Middle East uh, tensions that we're seeing, especially in particular between Hamas and Israel. But the escalations between Hezbollah, especially after what happened uh, with the death of uh, Nasrallah, um, that's how I pronounced uh, that, that name there, it means that geopolitical tensions are going to escalate. And as you can clearly see, it says that it is also a huge blow to Iran. 
And now if Iran actually gets involved, now this can really turn into a regional war. Because we also had, I think it was last week as well, we also had um, the Houthis in Yemen actually uh, claim one of the missiles that were actually shot towards uh, Israel. Right, so you can clearly see that prior to this, the Houthis were actually targeting maritime vessels that were transiting in the Red Sea, but now they are directly sending some rockets to Israel. So you can clearly see the escalations of things, the escalation of, of, of the Middle East tensions, right? And if you just read a couple of headlines here, it says Iran's, uh, okay, I can't pronounce this name here, calls on Muslims to confront Israel after Nasrallah's Nasr death, reactions and obituary. Nasrallah led Hezbollah to become regional force. Residents to, of Beirut sub, suburbs traumatized by Israeli strikes. So obviously I'm not going to look into all these articles, but I just want to show you how understanding fundamentals made my trading effortless. And that is essentially what I would tell myself if i were to go back to when i started in 2016 i'll be like you know what son focus on fundamentals because i knew about fundamentals in 2016 but i disregarded fundamentals and in only five years later only five years later did i understand the importance and the significance of fundamentals in the financial markets had i known or not even known but had i paid attention to fundamentals in my early stage I would have probably made progress much quicker than I did. But once again, I had to go through all the ways that weren't effective in trading the financial markets for me to actually stumble across a way that was actually effective. It's like, um, it's like the, the guy who came up with the light bulb when they asked him, why did you continue after, after failing a thousand times? He's like, no, I did not fail a thousand times. Just that I found a thousand ways that would not work and then only that one way that work that is why we have a light bulb it's the same thing with fundamentals and traders that is why we have majority of retail traders who are not doing well in the financial markets because they neglect fundamentals they overlook fundamentals they disregard fundamentals and when we talk about fundamentals we're not talking about the economic calendar this is what we're talking about understanding what is happening from a central bank perspective from a geopolitical standpoint as well knowing what is happening to the economy, what could negatively impact the economy, what could positively impact the economy. And once you understand that, you are able to anticipate moves. If you anticipate move, it does, moves, it does not mean that moves should happen, but you are able to position yourself ahead of time. So when the move happens, you are not caught off guard. You were well prepared in advance, right? So this is, like I said, this is just one of the questions that I asked here. And if I scroll a bit higher, I think I also asked a question on Japanese yen pairs. Yeah, this was on the 25th. So I asked, what is your view on XXX JPY pairs over the next two to three months? And all of these questions were centered around the fact that I was just following what was happening in the Middle East based on the geopolitical tensions. So this is why I say, this is what I would tell my younger self, that the Sanele that started trading in 2016, if I were to go back, back to when I started, this is what I would tell them, that the quality of the trades you take will drastically improve if the quality of your fundamentals also improve period and there's n there's no other way about it so if that's the case it's up to you to then decide it's it is then up to you to decide if whether you are going to allow fundamentals to make a way for you in the financial markets or are you going to allow fundamentals or they or are you going to allow the ignorance to fundamental analysis actually block the way for you in the financial markets. So that is the question I'm going to leave you with today. And I hope you found value from this video. And if you did like the video, if you have not yet subscribed, do subscribe. But most importantly, do yourself a favor. Learn fundamentals.
it changed my trading it changed the trading of many other people that I've shared this with and once again it's not because of me it's not because I'm so great it's not because I'm so smart no it's just because of fundamentals it is because I understand fundamentals so guys I'm gonna see you in the next video until next time cheers